Hi everybody, Dion here. Uh, this is the first in a series of Deep in the Sheets videos where we're going to look at taking raw data from your basic spreadsheet to presentation ready. Uh, first up, we're going to get the most out of our pivot tables by prepping our data ahead of time. What you see here is our raw data exported from our lead quality source as well as our just AdWords interface. So you can see on here there's a number of columns that could be simplified. The simpler they are, the easier it's going to work in a pivot table. So the first one here, you can see lead status. There's a bunch of different entries in here. A lot of them are very similar, so I'm gonna roll them together so we can aggregate the numbers as a whole. The other one is the created at date. This is exactly as it comes out of the interface, and it's just not real convenient for us when we're looking at a pivot table. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a table. See, I got this handy button up at the top there. You definitely wanna get one of those for yourself. Then I am going to unselect and just keep junk for now. Uh, first, I need another column for this new entry. This is gonna be a separate column that I can use in my pivot table. I'm gonna call it lead quality. So we'll take this junk status, bring it down there. Then we'll move to inquiry. Go ahead and copy one of those, bring it into our new column. And then the last one, this is the one that's really helps us out here. I'm gonna take away inquiry and junk, and you'll see that all these statuses are quite similar. So for our case, we just wanna look at them as one whole, consider them all good leads. So we wanna see data for all of them together. So I'm gonna unselect inquiry and junk and blanks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call these just qualified. Go ahead and copy that down. And now this column is ready to go in our pivot table. You'll see for this left one, lead status, there's a whole bunch of entries in here. Lead quality, it's nice and clean, just the three as well as blanks. The next thing we're gonna look at is the created at date. This, as it is right now, it includes a full form date as well as time. It's not really helpful to us. So the first thing we're going to do is find the week of the year. So I'm gonna make a column, call it week, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the formula week num. That's gonna give us the number of the week this year. So fifth week, fourth week. Uh, the, you can see the number here is what day of the week it starts on. I like to start on Sunday, so I'm just gonna type a one in there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it as values so we don't have formulas in our pivot table. Next thing I'm gonna do is create a month column. This is a handy formula to get rid of the date format that Excel sees. I just want my date as text. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the text formula. I'm gonna point to my data and I'm gonna give it the name. This is code in Excel for full form month. So if you wanted to do an abbreviated month, you just put two M's, etc. You can also do day with DDD. This is how I like to do month. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, copy that all the way down, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste values there. So this, form, this spreadsheet is very close to ready for a pivot table. You'll see next week when we throw it in, it'll be very easy to look over time using month or week, and it will be easy to see inquiry junk qualified compared to each other rolled all together. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time on Deep in the Sheets.